How's it going? Uh, I'm going to get into this really quick. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I picked up. I'm going to start out. This one is for Red 5. Uh, I know that you like Deadpool. I got something in that I think that you might like. Um, I don't know if you have this or not, but it is the Classics Marvel figurine. Um, it's a hand-painted lead cast figure, or cast and lead figure, I guess, with Deadpool. So, I don't know if you can see that or not. So, but still in package. It's got the cool little case, and then it's got the comic book that comes with it. So, uh, so Eric, if you already have this, let me know. If you don't and you need it, let me know. Because I'm thinking about letting it go, but I'm not really sure yet. So, if you want it, you know, we'll talk about it, and maybe I'll just trade you something for it or whatnot. Um, so, I've got a lot of stuff to show you, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, there's really a lot of good stuff that I got. So, we'll just start going now. Um, haven't picked up any new figures or anything really for a while. Um, so, I really need to get back into Toy Base 10, but we're going to start out with this right here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 290. So this is in Nimrit condition. So Christine's perfect. It's a newer comic, obviously. That's where Mary Jane proposes, or Mary Jane Spider-Man proposes to Mary Jane. So I wanted to have this one. I like the cover on it. I didn't have it. So there it is. Um, let's see. Got a Tells to Astonish uh, number 90. So I really like the cover on this one. You see that that says $26 up at top. I didn't pay $26 for it. So I think I paid like eight bucks for this. Um, so this one's about probably like a VG, VG plus. Um, it's kind of probably hard to tell in this video. I mean, it might grade higher than that. It might grade as a fine. I'm not really sure. So we'll put that one down here. And then we got Amazing Spider-Man number 601. So I got this one for the cover. This one's for whatever reason is hard to hard to find. So I went ahead and picked this one up, even though it's a newer one. So I really like the cover because Mary Jane probably the best cover they did with Mary Jane on it, in my opinion. Yes, wifey. Well, my wife came in, so she's nosy and wanted to know what's going on. This one is another Tales to Astonish, and this one is number forty-nine. This one is probably in a VG minus condition. Maybe a little better. I don't know. It could be just a solid VG copy. Um, so this is another key issue. So with the Giant Man, I think it's just the first appearance of Giant Man. Or Ant-Man. Becomes Giant Man. So went ahead and got this guy. And I got a really good deal on him too. I think this one was only 8 bucks. Uh, let's see. Then we got another Tales to Astonish number 63. And this one is in probably like fine plus condition. So this was another one that I only paid about nine bucks for. Got another Tales to Astonish number 68. And this one was the same thing. I think I paid about eight or nine dollars for this one. So. I'm trying to get a lot of the Tales of Astonish since, you know, that has to do with the whole could, you know, suit, uh, it was right after um, his first original series for 1 through 6, then it goes to Tales to Astonish, and then after that it goes back into just the Incredible Hulk, which starts at 102, and this is the second to last cop, uh, cover for Tales to Astonish, and it's a pretty iconic one. I saw this in the store the other day in worse condition than this and it was I think they're asking like fifty one dollars for it and it was like maybe like a VG plus or a fine and this one is like a fine to very fine so it's in great shape and this one was only like nineteen dollars or eighteen dollars so I just thought I'd show this one and it's nice and tight tight staples and it's got very little spine wear the color on it could be a little better. It's uh, got a little bit of a darker shade on it, um, but it's kind of hard to tell because it's in the Mylar. kind of enhances it and makes it look a little bit better, but this is like in really good shape, so probably one that I'll send out to get graded eventually. And another one that I picked up 
is X-Men number 101, first appearance of the Phoenix. So uh, I got a good deal on this one. I think this one was a little bit more than $20. Um, and this one is in like very fine plus condition. So absolutely sharp, sharp corners and uh, like little to no spine wear. It's got maybe just one little, I don't know if you'll be able to see it up here. But it looks like it kind of has like a little bend or crease or something there. So, or like a little dimple, but not a big deal for 20 bucks for this copy. I'll take it since it's a high grade copy. To me, this is going to be a Bronze Age blue chip purchase. Um, it's definitely going to be worth it because it's going to be one of those issues that people are going to want later on. And it's going to be worth quite a bit. So, uh, the rest of what I'm going to show you is all books that I had graded. So, some of these aren't going to be very high grade because they're older books, and I'm just glad that I have a copy of them. So, we're going to start out with Amazing Spider-Man, number three. First appearance of Dr. Octopus, and this one came back graded as a 1.5, so I'm happy with that. Um, could be better. I've got someone that has... 1 through 10 that's coming in, and he is going to give me first call, first dibs on him if I want him. So depending on what the price is, you know, probably try to work something out to go pick him up. And if so, I can get another copy of this guy, and it'll probably be in better shape. But even in this condition at a 1.5, I think this book is still worth a couple hundred dollars. So, and I didn't pay, but I paid maybe like 50 bucks for it. Uh, this one was another one that somebody had undergraded and said it was like maybe like a 0.5 or you know a 1.0 or 1.5 and it came back and it higher than that and I was really surprised and I was happy about it but it was Amazing Spider-Man number four first appearance of the Sandman so and I paid maybe fifty dollars for this guy and look what it came back at as a 2.0 so pumped up about that. I'm glad it came back as a 2.0. And it's all through CGC. Then we got another Amazing Spider-Man and this one is number 14. The first appearance of the Hobgoblin. And so you can see it's in pretty good shape. And it came back as a 3.0 um, which is just I believe VG. So VG minus. And I will definitely take it. So Then we got Amazing Spider-Man and this one is number 16 and this one here is the first crossover with the daredevil in it in his original costume in the yellow and this one came back as a 4.0 so very very happy with that and actually that 3.0 i think that was just a good not a vg but i might be a little off on my grading but whatever i can live with it and then here i have got an amazing spider-man number 39 and this is the first John Romita cover that he did, and I was really excited about what it came back with. So this one came in as a 7.0. This is another key issue, and it's one of my favorite covers. So it's not as early as the you know some of the other ones, but this is definitely one of my uh, my favorite covers. And if I'm going to get you know number 39, I wanted to make sure that I got 40. So I got 40, and. Amazing Spider-Man in it came back as a 6.0. So, you know, worth a little bit of money. And I got excellent deals on those. Some of you are going to crap your pants on this. And yes, I said some of you. Is. Some of you are going to crap your pants on this one. And this is the first appearance of the Rhino. And it came back as a 6.5. So, I was happy about that. I was actually happy about all of these except for two. So... And that's because the gray that came back, they came back restored. I wasn't happy about that because I couldn't tell that they were restored. And I'm surprised that they could. But this one is Amazing Spider-Man number 46. The first appearance, I believe, of the Shocker. So, it's a beautiful cover. I like it. And the Shocker is a good character. And this one came back as another 3.0. So, a lot of these I know are in a lower grade. But, you know, for the price that I paid and... What not? I mean, I can't complain. I definitely made money on, and you know, as soon as I bought them. So, and this one right here was signed by John Romita, 
it is his signature, but since it wasn't verified a while back by um, CGC when it was originally done, then they don't count it. So I didn't send the slip in. Otherwise, it only comes back as a certified copy. So I just sent it in to have it graded. It came back as a 3.5. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 50, I believe. Yeah. So and I believe this is, what, the first Kingpin? Yeah. So the first appearance of the Kingpin. It's another beautiful cover. It's a good story, too. So if you guys haven't read it, you know, might want to read it. This is one that I was disappointed in because it came back as a restored grade. Came back as a restored grade 6.5, and it was amazing. Spider-Man 100, so it's the 100th anniversary issue. I mean, it's not too bad, but I was a little pissed off about it. So that, I can't change it now. I got a lot to get through. So first appearance of Morbius, Amazing Spider-Man number 101, came back as an 8.0. That one you guys have already seen, Amazing or Hulk, Incredible Hulk number 102 is the premier issue. It's another one I was upset about. So Incredible Hulk, and this was 180. And this one came back as a restored grade of 6.5. It says there's color touch on it. I guess apparently it's like in one little spot. Also had this one graded. Amazing Spider-Man number 141. Came back as an 8.0. First Doc Samson. So it's actually the origin, origin of Doc Samson. This is Iron Man premier issue number one. Came back as a 4.0. So, as you can see it there, yeah, beautiful cover. I like it. You know, there's uh, some creases and some other stuff that's on the back of it, I believe. And the color on it is off-white to white pages. So. And this one, you know, you guys will probably drool over. This one I only paid like 10 bucks for like a couple years ago. Iron Man, number two. Beautiful cover. You can see it's obviously got white pages. And it came back as 8.5. So... And then Iron Man number three, and it came back as a 5.0. So, another beautiful one. They're all beautiful. I love them all. What can I say? And then we had Amazing Spider Man number, or not Amazing Spider Man, I'm sorry, Iron Man number 128. This is alcoholism issue or is covered. So, and this one came back as a 4.5. So, I think that's like a fine minus or VG plus or whatever how you, you want to look at it but that's what I had sent in that was graded I've got a few other books I'll try to show you really quick that I picked up so action comics number six Supergirl number six Justice League International number six I believe these are all number six detective comics Superboy Suicide Squad, Resurrection Man, really love that series, um, but Resurrection Man, it's a really good book. So, Green Lantern, Deathstroke, Batwoman, Batman and Robin, Batgirl, Demon Knights, I don't know if you can see that, the Demon Knights, Wonder Woman, The Dark Knight, Flash, New Guardians, and Justice League Dark. So those are all from the current series and everything that I'm reading. Just all DC. I didn't pick up any of the Marvel stuff. I still have another... 120 bucks worth of stuff I need to pick up. But, you know, since I went in there and spent quite a load on all the stuff that I had graded that I needed to pick up, and then these other issues and whatnot, you know, had to kind of cut it short. So, hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. It's a little bit of a comment call for you. So, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because the next giveaway is going to be at 150 subscribers. I'm at 76, and it'll be. Um, probably comic um, comic giveaway there would probably be two giveaways it's over for real one my last one I haven't sent out the package to him yet because he lives in Canada um, but as soon as I get a chance to send it out I will because it's about $70 so comment subscribe see ya deuces just for people at work that watch this <laughs>